Hi, this video is relating to Hetalia, but it's not a Hetalia review. This video is a FIFA review. I'm making a review so soon, like the competition hasn't even ended yet. I am! The title of this video is actually Life Lessons Learned from FIFA 2018. Why? FIFA this year is completely unexpected. You don't know what's going to happen next, which is really terrifying. Take the World Cup you know of and flip it upside down in this year's FIFA pretty much since the beginning and now it's up to the um it's up to the 16 countries that are battling out to get the championship goal trophy thing. Countries that I wanted to stay in a lot of them on court. Expect the unexpected. Everything is not what it seems. Life pushes you around a lot. And sometimes you're on one road and then you have to go to another road and then another road and another road. Be kind. Even though you're on opposite teams, you're still people and there's still some oh, respect. Opposite teammates helping each other when someone's injured. The world will be such a sad place if everyone is bitter all the time. Have fun or make fun of yourself. Have fun. Sometimes life can be hard so if you just have fun and this is probably an awkward example, but when the Belgian goalkeeper, I think that was the goalkeeper, see I didn't actually see the actual match, maybe it was a player, maybe it was a goalkeeper, kicked the soccer ball and it just hit him in the head and he was having a good time, he was having fun. I know that's cheesy, but it's true. Have fun. <laughs> Cherish every single moment, really. If something goes wrong, yeah, things go wrong. Life is not meant to be crystal clear, unfortunately. Even the players who got kicked out from FIFA, you know, the teams that got kicked out, I know it's really, really disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. And they'll be back. Do your best. Kind of self-explanatory with FIFA. These are the five life lessons I have personally learned from FIFA, which is why I enjoy it so much. I'm rooting for England and France, but in the end, even if these two uh, compete together, one, you know, one of them will be the winner. And it might not even be them, it could be Russia. Russia is doing extremely well, but I'm going off the tangent. I will actually probably make a video of when the winner is announced. Ciao for now!